Hey everybody, Kevin here from Humble Craftworks. Welcome back to another episode of Woodworking with Mr. Kevin. That's me. In today's episode, we're gonna do a little bit of an experiment. Really? I'm gonna experiment with cyanoacrylate glue, which is right here. Uh, we've got the thick, the medium, and the accelerator. I had to refinish a bunch of tabletops for the Six Rivers Brewery over here in McKinleyville. They destroyed them with bleach during COVID, and they thought they'd disinfect everything, and it just ruined all the finish. And I'm finding that a lot of these tabletops have huge dents and dings in them. And we're gonna see if the medium or the thick works better for filling in dents and dings on a veneer top, which this is. Sometimes when you put the accelerator on it last, like you're supposed to, it bubbles up and does weird things. So I'm gonna try in this video to uh, shoot some of this in there first in the bigger holes and see if it kind of balances it out. So today we're using uh, Starbond Cyanoacrylate glue uh, with the accelerator. So the reason we're using Starbond today, who is not a sponsor, is because I saw a YouTube video with a guy named Cam uh, from Blacktail Studios making this beautiful walnut slab top. I mean, he used a ton of it. And I figured, huh, I wonder if that'll work for these tops because uh, they're full of dents and dings. They're not deep like that, but it should work, right? So we're gonna do an experiment today to see how it fills in the holes, dings and dents on a veneer top. And we'll see which one works better, whether I should use thick from now on or the medium works just as good, uh, whether we put accelerator on first and then fill the hole or afterwards. Oh, we're gonna try all that stuff today. And then when we get done uh, spraying all these tops, we're gonna take a really close look and see how many dents and dings we can find and how it actually looks with uh, three coats of finish on it. Because you know, you don't know until you're done. And we really can't make it look any worse than when it showed up here, because when it showed up here, it was a mess. It was all sticky, had gum all over it, crayon marks. It had glitter stuck to the top and gum all over the bottom. <laughs> it's gross. I'm gonna time lapse through things because uh, that one top has at least 50 dings in it. And uh, I'll just speed through all that. We'll shoot these with lacquer. We'll see what they look like. This one looks pretty good. It's almost done. We didn't really have to fix any dents and dings in this one. For some reason, this one was nice. And uh, stay tuned. Somewhere in this video, I have an important announcement to make. And uh, you can win yourself something very useful and cool from yours truly. All right. We'll see you in a bit. Here we go. We're going to spin our way out of here. Ready? Ready? All right. Let's get to the video. Bye. Here's what we're going to do first. We're going to use the medium. So we're just going to try this on both of them. Okay, you got those two on there. I'm gonna have to get my bigger glasses on. And then we're gonna take this and we'll just shoot it. And that's it. See how that squirted out? So what happens, and I'm not sure how to get rid of that. See, it popped out right here. So we're just gonna let that set for a minute. See if we can find some other ones. So you can see the burn through. See the burn through right there? This has been sanded so many times that the veneer is super thin there. There's another big one right here. This time we're gonna try the thick one. I'm not sure what works better. And we're gonna squeeze the thick in there. There's another spot right there. Here we go, let's see if it does it again. Ready, here we go. Maybe I'm putting too much activator on there. If somebody knows, would you let me know? Cause I'm thinking that the outside is activated and it's getting hard and the stuff on the inside is not getting hard and it's pushing all the soft stuff that's on the inside out. Got a whole pile of them right in a row here. All right, so we're gonna use medium for these guys. So we got this one right here. We'll use the thick. Oh man, there's a dinger right here. Okay, right there we got a gasher. We'll spread it out a little bit too. I mean, you can't really ruin these tables, right? They're already ruined. Okay, there's a ding right, right there. And usually I fill these with epoxy. So we're gonna use the uh, thick gap filler. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it with activator. And now I'm gonna try to squirt some of this in there and see what happens. Then I'm gonna spray this over the top of that. See what that does. Harder. It's starting to ooze out. See how it moves and oozes all that out? Let's spray some more. All right, we're just gonna leave that set. So we try uh, just putting some thick in one of these holes and not activating it. I wonder how long it would take to dry. I gotta go to lunch here pretty soon, so we'll just let it set. Try not to touch the tips. Otherwise, you glue your fingers together and that ain't no fun. <laughs> that ain't no good. We're gonna put uh, no AC activator on it. Oh, there's a huge dinger over here. God, they're everywhere, aren't they? Have that dinger right there. We're gonna spray accelerator first, kind of a lot of it, and then we're just gonna squeeze this in. Look about that much. See, it's already accelerating. 
Yeesh, and then we're gonna spray it again. And we'll see how that does and see if it makes any air bubbles. All right, so here it is. There we go. Did these ever dry? Oh, this one had no activator and that dried. All right, so this one had no activator and it does dry. It just doesn't feel as hard as all the rest, but it did dry. So we're gonna sand everything with 220 so we hopefully will not burn through all of this veneer. All right, here we go. Burn through. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put finish on this and uh, we'll see how flat it came out. I'm gonna put you guys on the other side and we'll go from there. All right. So we're gonna shoot the sides first and then we're going to uh, do the top. I'm gonna start here and we're gonna work our way as far as we can reach this way and then I'm gonna flip it around and I'm gonna come back this way and we'll see how that works. It's a little tall right now but I think it'll be all right. My arm might get a little tired because I'm spraying away up here like this and my, my shoulder from shooting. Plus my hip is still killing me. All right, so I'm gonna open everything up so I don't gas ourselves out and we'll get going here. It might get a little foggy in here. If it does, then I'm gonna have to open the door all the way up. Make sure you're wearing the proper protection when you're spraying catalyzed lacquer because this stuff will kill you. Okay, here we go. All right, there you go. This thing worked out pretty slick. From what I can see so far, it doesn't look bad. I missed one dinger right there. I'm gonna let this dry for the next 20 minutes and then we're gonna come out and put another coat on it. Except this time, I think we're gonna go this way. So the first time we went this way, the short way, and now we're gonna go the long ways and then we're gonna go the short way again and we'll be done. So three coats. I'll see you guys in a little bit for the next coat. All right, everybody, it's been about 25 minutes and it looks fairly good. I can kind of see where the spots are. It's not bad. So I haven't sanded this or anything, and I'm not going to. This has got one sealer coat on it, basically. Now I'm gonna put a top coat on it. I'm gonna use the camera on my phone to show you. I can see the spots that were there. I'm gonna put a picture of it right here. You can see the spots where they were. I don't know what's gonna happen with that. I don't really care. I just wanted to get rid of all the divots. I mean, this looks like a, a golf course for two-year-olds. You know what I'm saying? It was just full of divots. Now we're gonna go the long way, so I'm still gonna do the sides first. It's harder to deal with overspray up here than it is on the sides where you can just rub it out with a brown paper bag. Bottom first, middle of the trim, top of the trim. Spin this around, do the same exact thing. the second coat. I'm gonna to try to fix all these burn throughs uh, with a pen and I'll show you how I do that later. Oh man, and all the fruit flies come in and get drunk and they land in your finish because the door's open and that's what happens. But it looks fairly good, I don't know if you can see that or not. You can see a few little dimples in there but the filler using the AC glue doesn't look bad. It's a little lighter in color. It's not as bad as all the little burn throughs. Uh, yeah, so that's it for today. And I will see you tomorrow, which is in two seconds. Ready? One, two. So I just wanted to show you uh, what this looked like. These two little stands are screwed down to the bench with just two screws. And here's the lazy Susan right here. And I just screwed on a couple pieces of plywood. Here's our wood top. Look at the color in that thing, huh? It looks really cool, except for the burn through. Well, I could see quite a few of the dents and dings that I missed. Uh, there's a couple here and there. I'm gonna try something. Here, see this? See that burn through right there? Let me see if I can fix it real fast with a pen. I don't think I can. Sometimes you can fix burn throughs with pens, not always. So sometimes you can go with the grain, just to darken it just slightly. I'm doing it super light and I'll show you if I can. What I'm doing is I'm just kind of lightly going over all this, trying to make it look like grain, barely touching the wood. I'm gonna use my finger to kind of rub it out. Will it look good? Not really. I mean, it might look better than it does now. That's all we can hope for, right? Because right now it looks like poop. Well, maybe a before and after shot, I don't know. It leaves something to be desired still. 
There you go. You saw that part. All right. More things to learn on woodworking with Mr. Kevin. You're welcome. All right, I'm going to get to sanding this, and I'll see you guys in a bit. We're going to refill this. I'm going to fill it halfway. Uh, when you're spraying with gravity feed, the less fluid you have in there, the less fluid's going to come out here. So it's always good to start with at least half full. There's a line up here. It's like the maximum, so you don't plug up your little vent that's on the top. But I like to spray starting with at least that full. And that's what I'm going to do right now. Give the old stir job and give it a stir up. There we go. Check it. Make sure the end's not clogged up. Organic vapor filters. Make sure you got a nice pipe fit. Blow out. You hear the, uh, hear the valve? That little flapper. If you don't hear that, your uh, little flapper valve on the inside is probably not any good or it's out of adjustment and uh, you're going to be sucking in vapor. So don't do that. All right, here we go. Got to put on some music so I can uh, zen out. it's drying it has these little dry streaks in it and you can see some little white light spots in here like right there so all these little spots that i'm showing you are the where the glue was i'm gonna let this sit out here for 45 minutes and i'll come back and i'll talk to you in a little bit it's been about 45 minutes and it is uh fairly dry it looks okay it looks a hell of a lot better than it did when it got here uh put a couple pictures up over here you can see where we added the glue there's a little bit of a bump. I didn't sand it good enough, I guess. But I'd rather have a little bit of a bump than a, than a divot. There's a couple spots on here, like right here. I'll put a picture of it right here, uh, where we uh, put the accelerator in first, and then added glue and then accelerated over the top of that. And it seemed to work out pretty good. It's very uh, smooth and sanded out well. We had a huge gash right here at the very end that was very deep, and you can't even see it. I'll put a picture of that over there. And overall, I'd say it's a thousand percent better improvement uh, than when I got it. Okay, so as far as which one's better, you know, they both look all right. Even the one we didn't add any accelerator to looks the same as all the rest. So I couldn't really tell the difference between uh, either glue, the heavy or the medium. All of them have a little bit of a little bump on them. Looks like they have acne. Yeah, I'm just going to let this sit overnight and tomorrow we'll go back and install these and hopefully they don't give me another couple, three or four to, to do. <laughs> So well, it worked out pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. And now for the uh, special announcement. One, we're going to put all the subscribers up up on the uh, end of the screen here that have signed up in the last month or so. We're getting close to 1,000. So when we hit 1,000, I'm actually going to give away a uh, end grain butcher block that I have in my office. I'm going to give away this thing right here. It's an inch and a half thick, 13 by 17 and a half. It's end grain cherry and maple with uh, sapele and walnut stripes in it. Got rubber feet on the bottom. So when we hit a thousand, I'll tell you how you can win this, probably in the next video. And for all of you who subscribed in the last month or so or whatever, I'm gonna put your names up at the very end of this video and uh, you'll see your name up in lights. And thank you very much for subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, do so below. And remember to hit the like button and all that other crap. <laughs> all right, well, here we go. I'll see you next time. This thing never stopped spinning. You'll never guess what happened. I went and installed those tables and they gave me three more. Subscribe now. Using this cyano. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. And that's in, yeah, boom. I'm just gonna sit here and go like this. What do you think? Think it'll work? Is it too tough? Is it too bright? Am I too bright for reality? Makes a funny noise when you whip it out. And today what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, spin the Lazy Susan around and see who was a winner. Somebody's gonna be a winner, winner, chicken dinner.